to establish a quorum. Member Tchaikovsky? Here. Tchaikovsky here. Gaines? Here. Gaines here. Bates? Here. Bates here. Hill? Here. here. Hill here. Jackson? Leno? Here. Leno here. Pavley? Here. Pavley here. All right, I'm going to turn the gavel over to our uh, vice chair, and I will present. Wonderful. We'll be uh, hearing uh, item one, Senate Bill 225, related to medical waste. All right, this is Senate Bill uh, 225 legislation uh, that makes changes to the recent reform of the Medical uh, Waste Management Act under uh, AB 333, which I authored last year. We've had extensive uh, stakeholder processes. Um, we've made some technical changes that are included in the, uh, uh, the, the staff report, including the definition of a bag and our the most famous high heat and incineration only. I urge your support, and I, with me today I have uh, Barry Brokow with uh, uh, Sterocycle. Sterocycle. Right. Uh, Mr. Chairman and members, Barry Brokaw, as the chairman indicated, uh, this was a, tw a, a rewrite of a 25-year-old act last year. We spent three years putting it together, one year before Mr. Wyatkowski at the time introduced his AB 333, two years building the bill out. The analysis of the bill in chief last year itself was 12 pages long. It was a very in-depth analysis. And, and the result of the implementation of the measure, it became clear there are some shortcomings on the interpretation of some of the statutes. Literally, we had an issue where uh, bags uh, were mislabeled through quotation marks that were in error in, under the act. So the enforcement capability of the Department of Public Health uh, questioned whether we needed to, to, rather than just go through a regulatory process, just do a quick fix uh, where the intent was well known by all parties. Uh, the regulatory process would have taken two years. And so that's why we have moved forward with this measure. This is clearly technical. The Department of Public Health worked with us, and we urge your support. Thank you. Marvin Pineda on behalf of the California Hospital Association, also in support of the bill. Wonderful. Do we have further witnesses in support? Greg Herner on behalf of Becton Dickinson in support of the bill. Great. Uh, any witnesses in opposition? All right, seeing none, uh, committee have questions? Yes, Senator Leno. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I feel compelled to ask this question. I get that it's all technical, and I have no con concern whatsoever about the content of the bill. And I also understand that it was the past eight months implementation of your most recent bill, Senator, that led you and the sponsors to recognize the shortcomings of it, and this is to correct those. Is there an urgency clause in this? Yes, there is. So, there is. okay, so the, uh, my question was going to be, why couldn't this wait till January, put an urgency clause in, it, it'd just be, a, it'd actually be about the same time of implementation, but you, you don't even want to wait four months, you want to get this done now. I think the Department of Public Health uh, so was waiting, really and they would like that also. <laughs> why the need for a gut and amend, but that's the answer to that question. Right. I move the bill. <clears throat> Wonderful. Uh, any other further comments? Uh, would you like to close? I urge and I vote. Great. Uh, Secretary, please call the roll. Item 1, SB 225 by Senator Wykowski. The motion is that the Assembly amendments be concurred in. Senators Wykowski? Aye. Wykowski, aye. Gaines? Aye. Gaines, aye. Bates? Aye. Bates, aye. Hill? Aye. Hill, aye. Jackson? Aye. Jackson, aye. Leno? Aye. Leno, aye. Pavley. Pavley, aye. 7 0. The vote is 7 0. That matter is out. Uh, the EQ committee is in the journey.